Yo, what's up, Shib fam? What is up, YouTube? We're back with episode 31 of Dealer Simulator, looking more like a used car dealer simulator. We've got a whole store full of stuff, almost a full parking lot full of cars. We got one bike, and it's time to get this store open. It's time to make a bunch of cash. If you missed episode 30 or any other episode, I always leave a link to the first, actually all the episodes, all previous 30 episodes. There'll be a link in the description. But if you missed the last episode, episode 30, we cleaned a house at the car auction. All three. Not, uh, or we won all three cars. Not to mention, I got all three cars stuck, glitched into the parking lot. When we went to bring our auction cars home. But we got them here. We have over $200,000 worth of cars out in the parking lot. And this lady wants to buy a $1,000 bicycle with no bargain. That is the best way to start the day. Please. Oh, you know what? 69 bucks. Take it. You know what? Take it. What's a dollar amongst friends? But we've got a store full of stuff. We've got a TV battery operated cars we got some gaming chairs what else we got here we got an empty spot more okay so she bought she bought the she bought the bicycle that was outside all right that's cool i don't mind that at all i'm hoping for a busy day i'm hoping we sell all three cars today that would be awesome what is it with the dollar everybody's like i'll give you a dollar less sold uh, except for this lady. 90 bucks. We've had that little toolbox for a while, though, so I'm willing. I'm willing to come down on the price. All right. She took it. Uh, we also have bills to pay. Mouse to feed. Nothing in this world is free, so let's pay it now before it turns into a $3,200 fine. Or $3,200 bill. Uh, I don't know why it doubles. And it gives you 24 hours. If you miss the 24-hour period, that's it. Um, it doubles. And it takes it automatically. It doesn't even give you the option. Uh, 131. I don't know about this. But it is it is a crappy bicycle, so. Uh, so we're selling floor items, big items. No, we're too far apart, buddy. Uh, big items. Well, how are we doing on jewelry? Got a couple of empty spots. We're looking pretty good. Uh, look at toy section. Full. Electronics. Full. Well, kind of full. We got a couple empty spots. How about shoes? Shoes are good? No, shoes are empty. Got a bunch of guitars, though. Yeah, we're busy. I love it. Ever since they updated the, um... Ever since they updated the, um, <clears throat> basically the customer traffic, it's been fantastic. Before that, this store, it was hard to make any type of money because you had to wait till the customer came all the way down and went all the way back out before another one came. It's already noon. We've sold a bunch of small stuff. The only expensive item, I think, was that $1,000 bicycle. Um... But we are. No way. No way will I ever let that rifle go for less than 1500 because I've seen it sell for $1,500. Um, but yeah, we have already so many empty spots just before we open. We are definitely going to go shopping for storage units at the end of this day. I don't know if we're going to see another auction on this episode but if we do i think i'm gonna stay away from the car auction and i think we're gonna go to like the regular auction because we can still make some good money on some of the art stuff so we'll see see how it goes 
So far, it's been a busy day, but it's all these little things, like $30 Hello Racing 2 toy. Um, but yeah, no guitars yet. Oh, we just sold a $400 bracelet. Was it a bracelet or was it a watch? I think it was a bracelet we sold. Sold a couple toys. No electronics. I've had this thing for a while. $100 microwave. And I think we got this on the last episode. $270. Uh, what is it? Like a... I don't know. It's like an electric toaster. I have no idea. But I'm definitely not going to sell that for that price. Um, Meet me halfway, buddy. Let's be honest. He does not look like the drummer type. But let's not judge. Anybody could be a drummer. That's what I'm talking about. We sold a graphics card. Forty, ninety, eleven hundred bucks. Still not the big ticket items that we want to sell, like the cars, but that's a good that's a good chunk of change. Eleven hundred bucks. We could buy the right storage unit for that much. And this day is flying. It's already four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we're almost at 40 grand though, and that's without selling any of the vehicles. I can't believe we still have those. Not a single offer. This is like the second time this guy's come here today. Uh, he bought the drum, the uh, electric drum kit or whatever, and now he wants to buy a watch. I mean, we're not that far. See, sometimes you just got to hit him with the original price. Ooh. Usually it's the guys in the suits that want to offer you the least. This guy not only looks like he had money, he actually had money. What is this? The statue. I didn't even know we had this. She wants to offer us 11.5. We want 13. Let's see if we can get her at 12.5. And we did. Oh, that's a big ticket item. That'll take. This guy, I don't know, buddy. Come on. Come on. All right. I mean, we're selling stuff. We're moving. Moving product out the door. Lots of floor items, though. We sold the TV. We sold both, uh, both gaming chairs. Still got that rifle. Still got a bicycle. Ooh, we got another bicycle out here, though. I forgot about that. Ooh. I forgot we had this stuff, too. All right, let's get this stuff in here. Uh-oh. That collision bothers me. Like if you turn a product a certain way, like, it freezes. Okay, and it priced already. All right, that's awesome. I saw a customer, though, before we bring in... Oh, I got two. Before we bring... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys already left. It's after 5 o'clock. Um, buddy, you're wearing a suit. I know you got cash. I know you got money. Uh, this lady, too. Ooh, a guitar. All right. Um, how about 270? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey, sometimes you just got to be realistic here. You got to slap these people with a little bit of real... Oh my god, look at our art table. It's bare. Super bare. Hang on, buddy. I saw you come in. I'll be right there. I am glad that this game doesn't have some of the other issues. Like, um, what was that game where you had, like, uh, you had, like, vandals? Was it Gas Station Simulator? Or something like that? And then also Pump? pumping simulator that had a vandal or a thief 70 we're way far apart sorry pal sorry pal so that that guy just bought a 420 dollar watch and we're in the last half hour this is where it matters it matters to me because we get to clock out and get out of this place you ever feel like that during the work day Today was one of those days, man. One of those days. For those of you that don't know, I work from home, but I'm I'm an inbound customer service representative. And my last phone call was like 40 minutes. And um, it made like the last 45 minutes go by really quickly, but I couldn't wait for my shift to end. And that's kind of how my character feels right now. 
He just wants to get out of here. Ooh, there we go. 100 bucks to end the day. That's going to be it, though, because there's nobody that's going to make it to the cash register before that clock strikes 1,900 hours. In fact, he's going to get about this far. Why is the, why, <laughs> the game let him come all the way down just to be like, whoop, they're closed. I followed him out. He better not steal my truck. That's where he was headed. I know it. All right, we're going to head out to uh, storage unit place. My favorite stove. I'm almost certain in the last episode, didn't I say I was done coming to this one? I think I did. But I am, uh, I fall back. I, 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 I'm, I can't help it. I can't, I have no self-control. This is my favorite storage place. Oh, yeah, we're definitely out of here. No way am I paying over two grand for a storage unit. I guess we have no choice. We are going to the one on the other side of the map. Which is like the indoor place, I think, right? It has the two back to back. How does this place only have three available? If this guy doesn't have a good deal, I don't know what we're gonna do. Go to sleep, I guess. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, look at this. Have nothing below a thousand. And that kind of bumps me out. 1302. No, I think I saw one for 1290. You know what? Let's just open this one. And then we'll go back and get to 1290 at the same time. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ah, oh, that's garbage. No. No. See, anything over a thousand bucks sucks. And that just, that, it doesn't just rhyme. Like, that sucks. I thought that said I could open it. I was like, ooh, what's in here? A secret? 1206. There we go. All right, so we got two of them. Uh oh. Okay. I thought. Sometimes when I don't see the door outline, I get a little nervous because I've had that. I've lost units before. All right, please. Ooh, what's this? Oh, my God. How did we lock out on that? Oh. Two empty gun cab or gun cases, rifle cases. What a bummer, dude. You know what? I can carry that out in my hand. So we'll grab this grab that but I can't see where I'm going I'm gonna go through and open all these right in here let the boxes disappear what do we got nothing so far okay $290 this thing I'm gonna toss these are I mean it's 10 bucks and chances are we're gonna get somebody that wants to bargain for it $70 shoes $110 pair of shoes and then uh, you know what I'm going to carry those out to the van as well. So let's just start carrying this stuff out. Ooh, this was hidden. $500 piece of jewelry. $500 ring. That'll look nice in our jewelry cabinets. I think I was just talking about that. We were missing some stuff. We had some empty spots in our jewelry cabinets, so that works. All right, let's go get these... Um, these two uh, searchable cases and then we'll come in and we'll see if this thing holds any surprises I don't know if I see any profit yet in this one but we're going to search these and find out see a map worth six dollars see a movie or a game <gasps> that's an RC car 90 bucks and a six dollar book ain't that so Ooh, and a six dollar map how do i keep lucking out on this is that broken yep missing parts so it's not ninety dollars what a bummer um let's drop that grab the book we hold 18 bucks in our hands It'd be nice if we could sell the, you know, like the suitcase I just threw away. I wish we could sell that. Sell this bag. That looks fancier than some of the bags that we are able to sell. All right. $35 headphones. That's a bummer, man. Couple movies. Ah, poop. A bunch of poop. All right. Let's get this chair out of the way so we can open up this stuff. 
actually oh no let's let's throw this out too oh we got jewelry nine hundred and eighty dollars a hundred and seventy dollars and a two hundred and twenty dollar bag and then we'll take those other bags that we can search we'll take them we'll bring them out here oh i hope i hope i hope there's more jewelry inside these cases $50 pair of shoes, a $80 picture. All right, so not, you know, there's no super gems in here yet, but I'm not giving up. All right, I got everything else loaded, so let's take a let's take a look at what secrets uh, are hidden within. Not very good secrets so far. <laughs> not good secrets at all. Yep. I feel like we just... Ooh, yeah, that just fell. I thought something else came. I was like, I've never seen anything fall out after I move. Oh, my God. Oh, no. A bunch of junk. No way, man. No way. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. All right, what do we got? We got fourteen ninety eight. We got fourteen thirty four. All right, so that's the one. That's the one. Although I just feel like we just keep getting bamboozled. Is that the right word? There's some junk. That's I was hoping. I was like, man, I hope we get some junk speakers we can throw away. I already have one of these that won't sell. Uh, beach chair. Hundred dollars. Um, not taking that table back. Nope. No sorry. I'll take my six bucks here. Another one. <laughs> Another one that looks like it's just a bunch of junk. Actually, let's set that down. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. More art, though. We need art. That's what I'm gonna buy the next time we go to the auction. Especially if the cars that we have don't sell. Just hit up the normal auction. If there is no hidden gems in all four of these, I give up. I'll just start going to the auction for inventory. We'll just sell very few high ticket items. Okay, so a couple of movies in that one. Wah, wah, wah. Give us something good. Nope. <clears throat> oh no. No. Give us something good. Give us something good. Headphones. They look like, oh, 25 bucks. There's a movie. Or a game. <gasps> Ooh, what was that? $980. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the hidden gems. Ooh, that looks like jewelry. How much was that? 15. Oh, it's. Oh, no, that's it. Okay. 130. Well, that's a bummer. All right. Let's get this stuff picked up. Loaded. And maybe we'll buy the last cheap one, I guess. I don't know. This is the last one from this side. I'm trying to be optimistic here, but. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. $600. $270. And another... Whoa, wait, wait. Another $270. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad so far. Alright. Alright, so we've got... This is cool. $980. Alright, so this is the most profitable unit. I think we've, uh, we've found yet. And we got a couple of surprise... Uh, packages we can open. All right, we're starting to get some art. That was uh, our art section was definitely empty. Oh, I missed this the first time. Look at this. 1350 bucks for a watch. What do we got here? $10. We can toss that out. I am not bringing that back. Uh, hopefully the other pair of shoes are decent. 
Same thing. So we'll toss that. We're going to run in and check the other side real quick. We already bought our max on the other end. So let's go check this out. Um, You know, I'll buy this one, but that's it. I, I can't believe... I don't know what happened. Why are there so few? Units available at this place and the other one. Oh, clothes. I wish we could sell clothes. You know, that'd be cool. If they added, like, a clothing rack, that'd be awesome. All right, that needs to be fixed, but I'm okay with that. Uh, that's another VR setup. VR setups are pretty awesome. I see a TV right here. And it doesn't need repair. I see a $250 bag. Okay. All right, this ain't bad. Wait, wait, is that two VR? Two. Oh, no, that's not a VR. That's a steering wheel. All right. Okay. Even the shoes in this unit. $200 pair of shoes. Uh, $120 pair of shoes. Another $270 airsoft rifle. We're not doing too shabby. I see profit already. Not big profit, but I see profit. Hopefully something's hidden in here somewhere. Uh, $90 pair of shoes. Okay. More crappy clothes. And a $1,200 graphics card. All right, this was probably our best unit yet today. I haven't, I haven't filled the truck up like this in a really long time. I'm probably going to carry that in my hand because I think I'm going to have to fight with that um, to get it in the truck. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll carry that in our hand. All right, let's load this up. We got a lot of a lot of unloading and repairs and pricing to do. Day 124, I took all the units that we purchased. We purchased five units. I've got it <clears throat> on the shelf. Everything needs to be priced, though. And we got a pile of stuff uh, that we need to start getting repairs done on. So we're going to get Roberto, the repair guy, working. And our first customers of day 124. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. Let's have a bargain-free day. Hey, that's two out of two. Two out of two ain't bad, huh? It ain't bad. So hopefully we can keep uh, the repair guy busy because we got a pile over there. Um, how about how about fifty bucks, buddy? Thanks. I knew you'd see it my way. And three hundred. Oh my God, that is four in a row. I I'm not gonna count that. I'm not gonna count that bargain. Because he, he bought it. He bought it for the right price. Oh, I'm stuck on you, Roberto. So I think we've uh, sold some shoes. So we should have some empty spots over here. No, I have one empty spot. I thought I had more. I thought we sold two of those bags. All right, we got that priced. We I know we sold an airsoft, so I got to find out where it went. I think I had it on the floor. We sold two airsofts. We sold two items that were on the floor. Okay. Let's make sure we get that priced. Take care of these customers that keep coming in. It's been a busy day. I love when you have a full store because they just keep coming in. Um, yeah. And then they walk right back out because they want you to give they want you to give your stuff away. I'm not giving it away, man. I'm not giving nothing. Away to nobody. The Roadrunner. We got an offer on the Roadrunner, but we are so far apart. I don't want to go away from 58,000. I, I, I don't. I don't even think 55,000. Oh, she did take it. Oh, I didn't. I don't know why I tested that. Man, but look at our money. Over $100,000. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We sold the Roadrunner. Only if somebody comes in and buys the other two. That'd make me a happy guy. And how come no customers come in to buy two items at a time? 
It's just one here, one there. Wouldn't that be great? If they came in and bought like a whole bag full of stuff or box full of stuff. I'd be a happy guy. Roberto has been busy. That pile of stuff that he had to fix, almost done. Um, no, we're too far away. Sorry, pal. Sorry, buddy. Um, you know, give me 80. Give me 80. Roberto's a finish. He's on his last item, which is awesome because in like uh, an hour and 20 minutes, he's done. Speaking of done, lady, you're done. Come in here offering me half of what that item's worth. Same with you, pal. What a dork. That's it. That's the end of the workday. This poor lady walked all the way down here for nothing. I am sorry to waste your time. Who knocked over my bicycle? I don't go into your house and knock over your stuff. All right, we're closed. I'm not even going to go shopping. We're going to fast travel home and uh, fast travel right back. I don't know how much time is left on this episode, but um, let's try to let's try to sell some big ticket items to end end the day. Uh, there's nothing to price. There's nothing to fix. I have sent more people away today, but I'm gonna bargain with this lady. We're gonna try to hit her with the 450. <laughs> she took it. I don't know why bargain if you're just gonna pay me full price. Silly, silly, silly people. Hey, what's up, Ricky? Ricky the Researcher. Roberto's weird, eh? He don't even talk to us. What's his problem, man? What's his problem? Oh, shoot. We got customers. Um, Yeah, it's been a slow day, man. I've just been hanging out with Ricky the Researcher. We've been spreading rumors about Roberto the Repairman. It's just been a slow day. Lots of little items. Send a lot of people away as well. Nobody coming in for the cars. That just bums me out. All right. All right. Not the offer we were looking for. I might, you know, I might go. I might go 11.25. What? I should have went higher. I think I left some meat on the bone on that one. Another watch. I'll I'll, I'll take it. Um, let's try nine fifty. Nine fifty. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. One hundred and sixteen thousand dollars, and we probably still have eighty grand worth of used cars out on the lot. Got a pile of inventory still. Got some empty spaces, so we're definitely gonna have to get some inventory. Talk about big ticket items, but she's offering us 10 grand less. I don't like this at all. Is it possible to go lower? 32? Oh, no. No, 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 lady. Let's try 30 grand. Nope. All right. I tried. I tried. I can't sell a car. I can't sell a DVD. Okay. All right. We got a chance. Yeah. We're, we're, we're so far apart, though. I mean, I don't even want to bargain. We're 50 grand apart. That's a bummer. I got a feeling we're going to get stuck with those cars, aren't we? No. Somebody will come in eventually. I know it. I can feel it. Deep, deep down inside. We're in the last half hour. I just need one person to come in and offer a full price for a car out there. I don't even know what's left. Obviously, the bird. I thought we sold the bird, though. Unless there's two different types of birds. I know the orange one with the big fin, right? Why don't, let's go look. Let's go look out the window. 
See what's out there. Yeah, okay. So we got that one, and what is that? The Camaro? All right, that's cool. All right, all right. So we sold the, uh, I don't know what we sold, to be completely honest. Isn't that terrible? What a, what a terrible store owner. I don't even know what we have. Last customer of the day, she walks out empty-handed, offered us $45 for a $70 DVD. That is it for this day. What are you doing, lady? I'm closed, man. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, let's watch her. She's going to walk all the way down there. And she's going to turn around. <laughs> it's too late for customers. All right, let's close this place up. Let's lock it up. I don't trust these hooligans around here. But that is it for day 125. That is it for episode 31. We've still got some cars, some bicycles. We're definitely going to need some inventory. We sold a lot of cheap stuff. But that is it. I appreciate y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I can't believe we're still going. 31 episodes. Uh, and again, that's all because of you. Uh, if you guys weren't enjoying it, weren't watching it, weren't interacting, interacting, I'd probably move on to uh, to something else. Speaking of something else, if you have any ideas, let me know. I am open uh, to start another series. But uh, appreciate y'all. If you have gotten this far and you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video. It does a lot of good things. Not just for the video, but for the channel. And if you haven't hit the sub button yet, slap the sub button. Join us on our journey. Speaking of journeys, thank you all for joining me. Not just today, but every day. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. Look after one another. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Much love, everybody. Peace.